Have you ever gazed up at the night sky and wondered why certain clusters of stars carry names and stories across millennia? This is the enigma of constellations, a rich tapestry woven through the threads of astronomy, mythology, and science. Constellations are not merely random assortments of stars, but intricate patterns that have been recognized and named by civilizations across the globe. Each constellation carries a unique story, a cultural fingerprint that has been passed down through generations. They have served as celestial maps for navigators, calendars for farmers, and muses for poets. As we explore the history of constellations, we'll explore how they have shaped our understanding of the universe and our place in it. From the ancient Greeks to the indigenous tribes of North America, constellations have etched their stories in the canvas of the night sky. As we journey through the cosmos of our understanding, we'll see that constellations are more than just stars. They are a window into our past and a compass for our future. The origins of constellations are as ancient as civilization itself. Our ancestors, gazing up at the night sky, sought patterns in the chaos of stars. They connected these celestial points of light, creating images and narratives that reflected their cultures and beliefs. In the vast inky canvas of the night, early humans sought solace and guidance. They began to weave stories around these star patterns, giving birth to the earliest constellations. From the hunters of prehistoric caves to the philosophers of ancient Greece, every culture painted their own cosmic tapestry. While we can't pinpoint the exact moment when the first constellation was named, evidence suggests it was likely during the Upper Paleolithic period, over 17,000 years ago. The Lascaux Caves in France, famous for their prehistoric paintings, hinted our ancestors' early fascination with the stars. A cluster of dots on the cave walls, resembling the Pleiades star cluster, suggests that they too were looking up, seeking patterns in the stars. Fast forward to the civilizations of the Fertile Crescent, where the Babylonians were meticulously mapping the night sky. Their star catalogues, some of the oldest in history, laid the foundation for many of the 88 constellations we recognize today. The Greeks inherited much of this astronomical knowledge, refining it and adding their own mythological flair. They saw their gods and heroes in the sky, from the mighty Hercules to the beautiful Andromeda. These stories, passed down through generations, shaped the constellations we know and love today. In the Far East, ancient Chinese astronomers saw a different sky. They divided the celestial sphere into regions, each associated with a royal family member. The stars within these regions represented officers, palaces, and even exotic animals. Fast forward to the present day, the constellations serve as a celestial roadmap guiding astronomers and stargazers alike through the cosmos. While we may never fully understand the minds of our ancient ancestors, their legacy lives on in the constellations they left behind. And as we gaze up at the same stars they once did, we are reminded of our shared human heritage, written in the stars. Constellations are not just a product of science, but also of culture and mythology. These clusters of stars have played a significant role in the development of societies around the world, from the Greeks and Egyptians to the Chinese and indigenous cultures. The ancient Greeks, for instance, looked up to the sky and saw epic tales of gods and heroes, the mighty Orion, the hunter, forever pursuing the Pleiades across the heavens, Cassiopeia, the vain queen, perpetually turning in the night sky as a punishment for her arrogance. In contrast, Ancient Egyptians saw their deities and everyday life reflected in the stars. They envisioned the constellation of Orion as Osiris, the god of the afterlife, and the Milky Way as the heavenly Nile, mirroring their earthly river. In the east, the Chinese formed their constellations based on a complex system of lunar mansions. The azure dragon of the east, the vermilion bird of the south, the white tiger of the west, and the black tortoise of the north each representing a cardinal direction, a season, and a myriad of deeper philosophical concepts. Indigenous cultures, too, have their unique stellar lore. The Aboriginal Australians, for example, saw patterns not only in the stars, but also in the dark spaces between them. They saw the emu in the sky, 
a constellation formed by dark nebulae stretching across the Milky Way, corresponding to the life cycle of the emu on Earth. Each culture has its own interpretation of the constellations, painting a rich tapestry of stories that span the globe. They saw their heroes, their fears, their gods, and their legends reflected in the night sky. These constellations served not just as navigation aids or seasonal markers, but as a canvas for the human imagination. In the end, the constellations remind us of our shared humanity. Despite the vast distances and cultural differences, we all gaze up at the same stars, finding our own meanings and stories. These stories, woven into the fabric of our sky, remind us that we are all under the same stars. Beyond their cultural significance, constellations have always been vital tools for navigation and the study of our universe. From ancient mariners to modern-day GPS systems, constellations have served as reliable guides, helping us find our way through the vastness of our world and beyond. Centuries ago, seafarers would rely on constellations as they navigated the unpredictable oceans. The North Star, or Polaris, part of the Little Dipper constellation, was particularly important. It stays almost stationary in the night sky, providing a fixed point from which sailors could determine their latitude and maintain their course. Even on land, constellations have helped explorers and travelers. The Aboriginal people of Australia, for instance, used constellations not just for navigation, but also to encode vital survival information into their stories and myths. In our modern era, constellations still play a crucial role in navigation, albeit in a more sophisticated manner. Satellites orbiting Earth use star trackers, which capture images of stars and use their positions relative to constellations to determine the satellite's orientation in space. This information is then used to control the satellite's position accurately. But constellations don't just help us navigate through space, they also help us navigate through time. The night sky is a vast, ever-changing landscape. As Earth orbits the Sun, different constellations become visible at different times of year. This cyclical appearance and disappearance of constellations was used by ancient civilizations to mark the passage of seasons and to create calendars. Moreover, Constellations help astronomers study the universe. They act like a giant cosmic map, dividing the sky into recognizable regions. When a new celestial object is discovered, its position is often described in terms of the constellation it's found in. This helps astronomers communicate effectively about the locations of stars, galaxies, and other celestial objects. From mariners at sea to astronomers peering into the cosmos, Constellations have guided us through the ages. They are not just a collection of stars, but a celestial compass and map, helping us understand our place in the universe and our journey through it. Even with our modern understanding of the universe, constellations continue to play a crucial role in astronomy. They not only paint a vibrant picture of our night sky, but also serve as a testament to human curiosity and our quest to understand the cosmos. In the realm of modern astronomy, new constellations aren't discovered, but rather, they are named and recognized. You see, our night sky is a vast canvas, and when astronomers observe distinct and unique patterns, they propose new constellations. However, it's not as simple as spotting a pattern and claiming a new constellation. There's a governing body, the International Astronomical Union, that has the final say in constellation boundaries. Established in the early 20th century, the International Astronomical Union standardizes and preserves the astronomical nomenclature, including the 88 constellations we recognize today. When you gaze at the night sky, the constellations you see are not just a random scattering of stars, but rather, they are carefully outlined regions of the sky, each with its own historical and mythological significance. But that's not the end of it. As we venture further into space, there's potential for change. With space travel and colonization on the horizon, our perception of constellations might shift. Just imagine, standing on the surface of Mars, the constellations would appear differently from how we see them on Earth. The stars would be the same, but their arrangement in the sky would change, opening the door for a whole new set of Martian constellations. Moreover, 
As we continue to explore the cosmos, we might encounter celestial phenomena that could lead to the discovery of new patterns and thereby new constellations. So, the constellation story is far from over. As our journey through the cosmos continues, so too will the evolution of our starry tapestry. Tomorrow's constellations might not only be a part of our night sky, but could very well be a part of other planet skies, illustrating a new chapter in our cosmic voyage. As we look to the future, we must also consider the challenges and changes facing our constellations. In our rapidly evolving world, the pristine beauty of the night sky is increasingly under threat from light pollution. This artificial brightness shrouds our view of the cosmos, reducing the visibility of stars and constellations. Imagine a world where the grandeur of Orion's belt or the dazzle of the Pleiades is shrouded in the haze of city lights. It's not just about losing the aesthetic appeal of the starlit night. It's about losing our connection with the universe, our history, and our shared stories. But light pollution isn't the only challenge. The advent of satellite constellations like SpaceX's Starlink has raised concerns among astronomers. These swarms of satellites, meant to provide global internet coverage, are often visible as bright streaks in the night sky. Their presence can interfere with astronomical observations and research, making it harder to study distant galaxies and phenomena like black holes and supernova. Yet, there's a flip side to this coin. As we venture into the era of space travel and colonization, our perception and understanding of constellations might evolve. What new constellations might we recognize from the surface of Mars or the moons of Jupiter? How will we map the cosmos from these new perspectives? As we push the boundaries of exploration, we might redefine our celestial map, creating a new tapestry of stories and myths. Furthermore, advancements in technology could help mitigate some of these challenges. For instance, adaptive optics is a technology used in telescopes to correct the blurring effect of Earth's atmosphere. Similarly, there are ongoing discussions about making satellites less reflective and thereby less disruptive to night sky observations. While the stars may be constant, our view of them is ever-changing. The future of constellations is a fascinating intersection of technology, exploration and preservation. It is a testament to our enduring curiosity and our relentless pursuit of understanding the cosmos. As we move forward, let's strive to protect our celestial heritage while also embracing the possibilities of the future. Constellations are more than just a collection of stars. They are a testament to our shared history and culture. As we've journeyed through the cosmos together, we've marveled at the significance of constellations, their rich tapestry of astronomy, mythology, and science. From the dawn of civilization, these celestial patterns have been our guides, our calendars, and our storytellers. Ancient mariners navigated treacherous seas guided by the constellations, while farmers sowed and harvested their crops in sync with these celestial markers. Each culture, from the Greeks to the Egyptians, the Chinese to indigenous tribes, has looked up at the same stars and woven tales of gods, heroes, and creatures, imbuing the night sky with a richness of folklore and mythology. Today, Constellations continue to play a pivotal role in our understanding of the universe. They help astronomers map the cosmos, giving us a structured view of the infinite expanse. Whether it's identifying distant galaxies, observing nebulae, or studying stellar evolution, constellations provide a frame of reference, a cosmic roadmap for us to explore the mysteries of the universe. But constellations are not just about science and navigation. They are a reflection of our shared human heritage, a celestial archive of our collective imaginations and aspirations. They remind us that, despite our differences, we all share the same sky, the same stars, and the same stories. They inspire us to look up and wonder, to dream and explore, to seek answers to the grandest of questions. As we move forward into the future, with space travel becoming a reality and our understanding of the universe ever expanding, constellations will continue to be a beacon of our past and a guide to our future. They will evolve and change just as we do, reflecting our journey through time and space. So we encourage you to explore the night sky, 
to discover the constellations and connect with the stories of the past. As we gaze up at the night sky, we are not just looking at stars, but at the stories, cultures, and histories that have shaped our world.